Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy 8 World and today we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of turning your PC into a Hackintosh. We all know Windows is a much better operating system for gaming, but Mac OS X is generally regarded as better for video and audio work, so wouldn't it be great if you could run both on the same machine? Hackintoshes have been around for years and I actually had one in my studio for a while a few years back that my colleague built. The problem was is that they were pretty difficult to set up and you had to be pretty specific with the parts in your build, but now that's all changed with OS X Yosemite. Assuming you've got compatible hardware, setting up OS X on your PC is now almost as easy as installing Windows. Assuming anything does go wrong though, there's a ton of support online to get you through the process, including an awesome subreddit all about Hackintosh projects. If you want to check out whether your hardware is compatible with OS X, head over to TonyMacX86.com and there's a pretty comprehensive list of what works straight out of the box. You'll mainly want to be looking to see if you've got a compatible motherboard and GPU, but even if your hardware isn't on this list, just do a quick Google search because chances are you might get lucky. So, assuming you do have a compatible system, why would you want to Hackintosh your PC anyway? Well, to start with, OS X is a great operating system that's really easy to use and doesn't require a lot of maintenance. These days, you can run just about anything you want on a Mac, and of course, you can also run Mac-only software like Logic, Final Cut, and GarageBand. I'd say 90% of my work and general computing these days is done on a Mac, and that just goes to show how much I prefer OS X over Windows. Obviously though, if you want to play games, you're probably going to need to boot into Windows because OS X doesn't deal with games as well as Windows does. Also, most new Mac users will probably find a few things they use on a regular basis that aren't compatible, but after a while you find that pretty much everything has an equivalent. Any operating system has its pros and cons though, and I've seen so many Windows fanboys just flat out bash OS X because they really don't understand how it works. If you do give it a chance though, you'll find that for creative work and day-to-day -day computing, it's far more user-friendly than Windows, and it's usually a lot more stable for work applications as well. Now, obviously a Hackintosh isn't a real Mac, so you're bound to run into stability problems, right? Well, this actually depends on your hardware. If you build one of the recommended builds on the Tony Mac x86 site, you shouldn't have any trouble at all, but with any other hardware, there's always the potential for problems. Usually, the hardest part of the process is getting OS X to install or boot for the first time, but in the last year, it's gotten a lot easier, and you may only have to add in a boot flag or something. Like I said before, though, there is a ton of support from other Hackintosh users online, so if you do run into trouble, you can always ask for help or check the forums for a solution. The only issue I had with my install is that the HDMI audio doesn't work on my graphics card, which isn't a real problem anyway, considering I can just use the internal sound card. Apart from that though, the machine runs better than I thought it would, with no freezes and nothing else out of the ordinary worth mentioning. I'm not just using my Hackintosh for day-to-day -day computing either, I use it pretty much every day as my main editing machine and it hasn't let me down once. The only real disadvantage over any of my real Macs is that you can't update it automatically, because updating can seriously affect the stability of a Hackintosh. So, assuming you do want to go through this process, you can find guides on how to set up and update a Hackintosh at TonyMacX86.com. As long as you've got compatible hardware and a copy of Yosemite, you should be good to go, but I would highly recommend you invest in a separate hard drive for your OS X install. Apart from this, the whole process is completely free, so if you've got a PC and you're interested in OS X, you might as well look into it. Also, if you're planning on building a new PC, you might want to bear all of this in mind when it comes to choosing your hardware, because you're basically getting two systems in one if you're able to Hackintosh your system. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos, or if you'd like to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.